and you're a very talented person, musician, artist, actor. I mean, I guess like. Where did your passion to be a kind of storyteller kind of come from? Like, was it early age or something came later in life? Uh, well, definitely early age. Um, my mom is a, is a painter as well, and I think I got a lot of it from her. Um, definitely different styles, but, uh, but everything she did, she came from Germany, uh, so she moved here when she was young, and she paints landscapes, and it's, it's from Germany. And so I've never been there still to this day. And just seeing that and her telling me the stories of like, this is the town I grew up in and things like that. I think that's where I got a lot of the inspiration to, to storytell, to, to, to give people an image in their head that they maybe not didn't have on their own. Uh-huh. Uh, talk, talk about your music career. Like, uh, what, do you, what instruments do you play, band? Or um, so uh, <laughs> the music career is old. Uh, it, it's not really going anymore. Uh, I played in a, quite a few bands, mostly local uh, Cleveland, Ohio area. Um, I played a little guitar, not enough to call myself a professional at that. Uh, typically sing, though. Uh, yeah, after that, I, I DJ'd a lot, but that's just what you do in Ohio when you're an artist, you know? <laughs> well, obviously, you're doing like, a lot of the top trading cards are really huge now. So, uh, Absolutely. Well, so, how does that work, though? So, you kind of like. Do them, send them in, and they put them into random packs? Yeah, so um, so for Topps Trading Cards, uh, we have an art director. The art director reaches out to the artist when a new set is coming up, whatever. Um, you agree to do so many cards. Uh, they send them out to you. Uh, they have, restri- you know, certain restrictions for sets, you know, this and that, or you can't do this or whatever. But uh, you do all the cards. You send them back to Topps. Uh, after Topps gets them, they do a... Uh, a process where they okay them, but then they send them to the licensor as well. So they go from tops, get okayed, but then they also go to Disney at this point, Lucasfilm, yeah. and uh, and get okayed through them, and um, then they come back to tops at that point. So and then tops puts them, and they they got a giant machine that takes up a room basically that uh, they put everything that goes into packs in, whether it be a base card or parallel sketch card autograph, and it has you know like a hundred snakes basically and it just randomly takes one or three from this one or one from this one or whatever and it goes into single pack That's so really so wow, that so cool. super super random so if uh, people can't come to a convention like this do you like sell anything online people can get or absolutely like i got a website it's uh, www.artofkevinbcleveland.com um, from there i have links to my facebook instagram so i have you know sales on there stuff like that as well very cool. Well, thank you so much for your time talking to me. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate-